What's going on, fellas? Finally got this air compressor ready to roll, and we're finally to get something done. Shouldn't have any problems with air now. This thing puts out about 18, 19 cubic foot per minute, around 90 PSI, and has a max pressure of 185 PSI. The compressor kicks back on at 140. So when, if you're running air tools on this thing, the tools never experience any part of the cycle which is kind of cool because when you're running nail guns you want that constant 120 pounds but sometimes you get caught in the cycle of the charge up from 100 psi to 125 um anyway i'm gonna quit babbling this thing does have an electric start but it does not come with a battery which is something that i was wondering about when i purchased it you have to get a battery to hook up to it um this thing started right up on the first pole when i got it Here we go. Fellas, my 6.5 horsepower gas air compressor could barely run this thing at all. This thing devours a huge amount of air. It doesn't even say on there. This is a one inch pistol gripped air impact. Freaking massive $250 piece of equipment. Wow. I got air for days, son. Don't worry, I oiled the crap out of it. So we definitely got all the capacity we need. The one thing I don't like is how dirty this oil has gotten. This oil is completely clear when it pours out. It's probably just a lot of assembly dirt from machining. I'm thinking about um, running this thing for another half hour or so and then draining this oil out of here and putting a fresh batch of oil in here. I've just seen a lot of dirt for the amount of money I invested in this thing, I sure as heck don't want to take any chances. But, for the most part, I'm happy so far. Extraordinary amount of air flow and air pressure. We can finally get this show on the road. Okay, so get a load of that. So if any of you guys out there are familiar with the process of determining belt tension, let me know what you think. Um, from what I remember, I think you get, um, you're supposed to be able to put a force of 20 Newtons on this belt and get like one centimeter of movement. That's way more than 20 Newtons. This is a very stout tension. I don't know how much I like that. And seeing as how they've got these new tension features, I often wonder if the guy at the factory gets a little carried away. Fellas, I do want to point out that this air filter did not come pre-oiled. You're going to want to take the thinnest oil you have and completely cover this entire thing with oil and then squeeze it out. Get a pair of rubber gloves on and just completely coat this thing with oil. You definitely don't want regular dust getting past this particular part of the barrier. All right, fellas, so if you own this compressor and have had any problems with it, hit us up in the comment section. I'm also going to be constantly updating some things in the comment section as well. When this thing breaks down, you'll be seeing a link in the comment section of what happened. 